results were, the doctor said um, that I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like everything is normal. Like everything's normal. Like, so well, you could live forever with these numbers. And I said, well, then I'm healed. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that was so, yeah, I, I was like, that's all I'm saying is I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. <laughs> so, what an amazing yeah. testimonial, though, to do that the way you did. Yeah, I yeah, know. Absolutely. Well, you know, I bless all this awareness, like the conversation that we have. I mean, there's so many factors, but the biggest factor I'm convinced is the constant awareness that we've had here and, you know, that that of what was causing the stress and the, and the facing it and, and then doing something about it, you know, and, and then, cause it was a gradual process. First, I faked it. <laughs> First I had to accept it, you know, that it really was, it could be that all that. And, and then, you know, faked it for a while and then got to the place where it was feeling genuine and, and start in developing those new habits of where it's become habit to feel um, flowing with all that is, you know, and that of course goes in every aspect of your life. So, I mean, it's just like, so then, you know, you bless, like you always hear that, that when, when, you know, challenges or bad things happen, good things come from it. And it really is. I've developed new habits and lifestyle of, um, of, uh, peace, you know, and acceptance for all <laughs> kind of thing. Thank you, Deborah. And thank you for the group. And thank you for all that, you know, th so thank you. Thank you. This is very cool. <laughs> I know it must not seem like a short amount of time to you, but really, <laughs> Joan, you and I met literally a year ago. Well, yeah, that's when things are the worst. My, yeah, that's when I was kind of freaking out. The number was 220. My white count was 220. Now it's 20. Yeah, for it to jump that high, because I was kind of ignoring, acting like it was just going to go away. And then when it just kept, you know, and all my positive thinking was, and I don't know, it just, it just kept getting worse. And that's when I was like, okay. And <laughs> So when Siglinda said, oh, you should meet Deborah," And I was like, oh, I'm, I want anything, anything. Yes, I'm going, you know, <laughs> so I jumped into, jumped into it a hundred percent. So it's been a year. Yeah, I guess that's I mean, about it's right. It's been a year. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, I know that it surely didn't seem short to you, but the fact that you did this with no chemo, yeah, it really was a short time. <laughs> But my oncologist here, I just love it that he's so he's so shocked. Every, you know, it's like I told you last time. He said I told one of my patients about you. <laughs> I told one of my patients. He said I just still don't understand how you're doing it. You know, and I said, well, I told you. You know, like number one is no stress, and and I say that to a lot of people, no stress, and they're just like, yeah, right. Like who can get into a no stress life? Like who can do that? Like, well, okay, you know, like, don't, don't even try then. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm working on a, on a talk, you know, and um, I feel it's a little soon because the main topic is, you know, and I can't really, t I don't feel free, you know, to, to tell the whole story, which I think is, which, but it isn't the whole story. I mean, it's not the only thing. It's just that, that would relate to so many, you know, because, because that immediate, you know, your immediate contact is what causes so much stress that, you know, that ever, so many people deal with. I think you can talk about it, though, Joan, just not with the specifics. I mean, you could say that you got yourself into a situation that as an honorable person, and you could say there are other people involved, so I'm not going to go into the details, but as an honor, well, how I defined an honorable person, I didn't feel like there was any action that I could take. And so I uh, subconsciously made a choice to leave the planet as a way to get out of the situation I didn't want to be in. Isn't that the wildest? <laughs> that concept just blows me away to where I, I subconsciously felt trapped <laughs> where that was my, my, my escape, my escapism. I mean, it's just blows me away to think about that, I, you know, because I am the furthest from like suicidal thoughts, you know, like that's the furthest thing from my possible imagination, you know, but subconsciously for that to happen, this just blows me away to even think, but that's exactly, exactly. I, it feels so right, you know, that that's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So.
Yeah. Yeah. So the awareness that that some can be something like that can happen is huge. I mean, to to be to be more aware that that can happen, yes. and to try to prevent it. Uh, you know, at least to be more so. 